Hello! I will give you more information about the Morgor. Try to understand and take notes. Uh, you will have the right to uh, listen to it three times as usual. Ready? Steady? Go! Birth of the Monster Over the span of more than 100 years, Morgor has become the most famous sea serpent in the world. In the late 19th century, Cold War fishermen claimed they'd seen a creature that fit Morgor's description. And in the mid-1970s, sorry, uh, sightings were reported almost, almost on a monthly basis. In 1999, John Holmes, a former employee of the British Museum of Natural History in London, captured video of what looks like a huge animal in Germ German Bays near Cornwall. Fans say it's definitely Morgor, and even video experts say the footage hasn't been doctored in any way. Did you know? In 1975, when people claimed to have seen Morgor, there were also UFO sightings in the same area. Mysterious Mary The photos of Morgor was taken by a mysterious woman called Mary F., and she took only two photos of it, and she sent the pictures to the local, to the local newspaper, the Falmouth Packet, which published them on the front page. Witch Hunt When Morgor spotting became popular, a few witches got involved. Several women swam naked in the waters, attempting to lure Morgor to the surface with mystical powers. Their attempt failed. And to finish, missed shot. Determined to capture proof of Morgor's existence, a monster hunter arrives at Felmus Bay just after sunrise. He equips his camera with a large zoom lens and is ready to act like the famous sea monster comes to the surface. After a whole day of watching the water with no Morgor in sight, the man decides to call it a day and as the sun sets, just as the man packed up his camera and turns his back, a large figure appears in the bay, but the man doesn't even see it. Bye-bye!